Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Satisfactory. Multiplayer playthrough with a couple friends who are uh, not logged in just yet. You can see them just uh, just parked. I think oh, Seaguns is over here. Yeah. So we got uh, we got a basic little factory set up last night. Just making some reinforced iron plates, some normal plates, rods, screws, uh, copper wire, cable. Got some concrete back there. Nothing too serious. Um, got our space elevator down. We got pretty much everything in tier one and two done, except for jump pads, obviously, as you can see. So once we get that, I think uh, getting the spell space elevator and unlocking, uh, yeah, this last thing, unlocking tier three and four will be priority, and that'll give us, uh, you know, basic steel production. That'll give us uh, coal power, both of which are very important milestones. So the plan tonight is to get on the go. We will probably automate some rotors, uh, some copper sheets, and modular frames, maybe. And with the aforementioned steel and coal power, at the very least, I imagine, will be the plan tonight. I'll have to talk to the guys once they get on. But uh, I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start getting busy here. Get some stuff made. So I will be back with an update soon. All right, seeing as how we still haven't gotten the alternate recipe for screws, I'm going to make a trip up to the north. Uh, there's a couple of more uh, crash sites up there that I'm aware of that we have the materials uh, to get the, get the hard drive. One of them is just power. The other ones, I think it's, just, it's a couple of rotors, I want to say. I have nine rotors on me. I'm hoping that's enough. And maybe it is, maybe it isn't. <laughs> Only time will tell. I'm going to go up, I'm going to grab these two hard drives, and then, uh, then we'll head back, feed them into the man, get a couple more alternate recipes, hopefully get the screw off. I mean, if we don't, we don't. It's not the end of the world. But it's just uh, it's just a little more convenient having that. So I'm going to head up north here, going to get these, uh, get these two crash sites, hard drives, and I uh, will be back. All right, so I reached the first crash site. This is the one that I think needs a, just a couple of rotors. Okay, good. My memory did serve me well there. Oh, we are done with jump pads. Cool. All right, so let's grab this hard drive. Thank you very much. And what else do we have here? Oh, we got some motors. Alien carapace. Case industrial beams. Looks like some cables over here. Oh, some more in case industrial beams. Nice. That was, a, that was a fairly productive crash site. So the other one, I believe, is over to the east. It's down on the coast. Just needs power, I think, which would be easy enough to do. Oh, uranium. It's radioactive. Stay away. Stay away, Looch. All right, so I'm going to head over to this uh, other drop pod. Or wait, how close am I here? Do I need to put a cut in, or can I just run over? I think it's just... No, wait. Do I know where I am right now? Yeah, I think if I drop down and go up over there. Uh, ow. Oh, yeah, that was too much damage. That was not worth it. <laughs> that was not worth it. I think. I'm not sure if I know where I am. I, I may be gravely mistaken as to my location. <laughs> but I think it's just up over here. If I'm where I think I am. Which I may or may not be. No, this is looking increasingly increasingly familiar. I think I'm good. Should be right down over there. Yep, perfect. All right, so let's go grab that one. Then we will head back to base and throw these in the MAM. And hopefully get the screw alternate. I'm assuming we're going to have to fight some insects here. Yep, that's fine. Hopefully this is the last time we have to fight insects with the sword. <laughs> Or one of the last times. Because I am not very good with this stupid sapper thing. Sword is just a much better weapon. Alright, I got two of them. Oh, you're going to be a little, little butthead, are you? Back here. It's like, okay. <laughs> I will come back. Alright, so we got some more industrial beams. Some more motors. How am I doing for inventory? I'm still good. Oh, we got to kill more bugs. Awesome. <laughs> One down. Two down. Three down. That went pretty good. 
they got stuck though so can't really take credit for that <laughs> Ooh, heavy modular frames nice all right so how much power does this need 30 oh i missed a bug oh is that more motors no is there anything out here I wonder if there is no no okay all the cool stuff was on land so I just need one biomass burner. Oh, I don't have enough sheets. Uh-oh. Can I make more sheets? Or plates? Ooh. That was close. To being a failure and a half. Probably should have checked that before I left base. <laughs> oh, well. Got her now. All right, so let's put this up. Grab this one. Nice. All right, time to head back to base. I will be back soon. All right, so things are coming along pretty well at base. We have uh, get some rotors automated here now. You know, nothing too serious, just four per minute. But hey, it's getting the materials, looks like. And those are getting fed in here. They're in turn getting fed into here. So I guess our rotors are not keeping up to our reinforced iron plate production, which is making our smart plating, which we need for the space elevator, which will allow us to get uh, tier three and four in the hub, which is big, because that will be coal and whatnot, coal and steel and uh, the sword or basher, I guess it's called. So yes, everything's going pretty good here. We also got some copper sheets being automated over here now. You basically, uh, Purple just uh, switched one of the copper wire ones over to sheets because we have all kinds of copper wire, right? So we don't, we didn't need that extra machine. Actually, we have all kinds of cable too here, don't we? And so then copper sheets, which we will need for hyper tubes and for pipes. For, for coal power for the water for coal so my current project is i'm making a sub factory up here that's going to just make modular frames and that's it um so it uh i don't think we have any do we have any alternate recipes for modular frames right now no so it's reinforced plates and rods right now. So there is four um, pure iron nodes up here. So I should be able to uh, to make quite a few modular frames. I mean, I'm not going to scale it up too hard right now because we don't have coal power yet. And I don't want to stress our, our biofuel power network too hard. But it would be good to get some frames uh, automated and ready to go. So that's my factory up there in the sky. I'll have to make a, a hyper tube that'll take me up. So yeah, so I just, there's nothing much to see up here yet. There's just a couple smelters right now. But yeah, so there's, uh, there's two iron nodes just over here. You can see the miners, and then there's two back here. You can see the miners. So like I said, they are all pure. So we're going to take all four belts in. We're going to smelt them. Then we're going to uh, turn them into rods and uh, reinforce iron plates. And uh, turn them into modular frames. Should be good. I will be back when we get uh, some modular frames done. Like I said, I'm not going to scale it up too hard. I'm not going to use all eight of these smelters. I just wanted to get uh, to see how far eight would go because eventually I will want to use eight. So I can start my next stage of production, which would be uh, constructors here. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be back. All right. So uh, JD loaded up the smart plating into the elevator. So let's seal it and send it boom oh yeah gotta love this all our hard work gets shot up into space goodbye smart plating awesome that's cool all right so now tier three and four are unlocked in the hub so let's go check that out right quick i think coal power and or basic steel would be first on the menu let's take a peek here yeah coal power select milestone all right all right 
So I have to go help Sea Guns get his stuff back. As you can see, there's a couple crates over there. So I'm going to go do that. I will be back. What not to do indeed. All right, Sea Guns. He's got a crate next to uranium up there. Go. You can do it. You can do it. Don't die, though. <laughs> no. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. No. Is he dying? You dead? Oh, okay, good. I made it. <laughs> the crate's still there. Did you get everything out of it? No, there's leaves in there that I can't pick up. You oh, know? no, not leaves. Right. So I think you... Know, you I think you should leave them behind. Uh, but, uh, comedy gold. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I can pick them up. Ready? I'm going back in. All right. Just because I don't want that on the uh, compass. That's oh, fair. Oh. All right, here we go. Good luck, there. man. You can do it. No. Oh, wait a minute. No, I picked up uranium. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Oh, that's the leaves. It was uranium that I had mined before I died, like a dumbass. Oh, can you just pick up all my stuff and meet me back at base, please? Yes. Yeah, go pick up your irradiated backpack. If I die to uranium, uranium here. Oh, okay. It's time to stop recording. I'll be back. All right, so I am up in, in my area where I am going to be making modular frames. So we got all the raw irons coming in. We got eight smelters, four rows, got them all set up. Uh, actually, only feeding four of eight in each one uh, until we get bet better belts um, and Mark II miners. There's really no point in doing the rest of them, but I want to have them here so that I can space out uh, so the constructors. So I have uh, so I have constructors here. They're all making iron plates, both rows, um, to be turned into reinforced iron plates. Uh, so this row, as I work on it here, I will put, uh, I will have one more, um, whatchamacallit, iron plate, and the rest of them will be for screws. So we're going to need a lot of screws. And then the last row, so all, and then the plates and screws I'll use to make reinforced iron plates. And then this last row of iron, uh, this will be turned into rods. And then the plates and rods will be used to make modular frames. And then I will send those back towards base. That is the plan. Uh, I don't want to have everything anything hooked up just yet. I need to wait um, for Sea Guns to get uh, power. More power. He is working on coal power now. We have, I think, two generators set up. So our power uh, capacity has shot up. It is actually... Oh, no, it is not above. <laughs> I was say it is above our max production. But, no. Our max consumption is uh, is higher, but it's close. But our current consumption is really using half right now. But if everything fired up, like none of these are fired up right now. So I can't really hook up my further stuff until we get some more power. But that is my plan right now. So uh, as we get more power, I will start hooking stuff up. Get the modular frames, and then we will, uh, we will ship them back to base to store them. That's the plan. So I'll be back with an update soon. All right, so I'm just back at base here. Everything looks pretty similar. We got an awesome sink here, but it looks like there's nothing hooked up to it yet. We're making, uh, I think, smart plating here. We were. I think we turned it off. Yeah, it's on standby because we're uh, we're short on rotors right now. So JD set up a, uh, a second rotor over here. I think it's going. Where did it go? Right here. Going off screws and... Uh, copper sheets it's an alternate recipe but it needs 195 screws per minute we definitely <laughs> cannot do that so it's yeah it's only going so fast but hey there's some rotors for me perfect so yeah so this is what's going on base right now sea guns is working on coal power uh, we have a couple coal generators going now so we're we still are our max consumption is quite high still but we're only using well way less than half of it right now well i mean stuff like this isn't firing right but I'm when I turn on my setup, which isn't quite done yet, but we'll go get an update on that soon. It's going to need a lot of power. All right, so let's put some biofuel in there. I was just doing some wood in here. This is automatically making biomass. Then send it over there. 
That's getting turned into biofuel. Perfect. All right, so yeah, so I'm going to uh, head back to my modular frame setup, and I will be back with an update on that soon. Should be almost ready to go. I'll have it set up uh, probably before Seagun says the power, but uh, hopefully not too much before. Anyway, I'll be back. All right, so I came over to this area by the lake. I've built over here before. There's three pure iron nodes and a pure copper node over there. So Perp came over here and he made uh, some reinforced iron plate production. So I just came over to pick some up. Um, and I also noticed he made a lot of foundations to get over here. He can take a, pretty much a straight road right from uh, right from our main base to over here, which is pretty cool. So I just want to show off this road here. Oh, he's got the support pillars in. Purple was busy. I didn't realize he was doing all this. I mean, I knew he did the reinforced iron plates, but I did not realize he put in all these foundations. Well, I'm, I'm giving Purple the credit. I'm assuming it was Purple. If it was somebody else, I apologize. But we gotta get rid of these trees. Now, I'll come through with a chainsaw later and get rid of the trees. For now, it's time to go back up to my little factory. I am almost uh, ready. To turn it on except I don't think we have the power yet but so I'm gonna I'm gonna get it ready um, get it all set up just don't turn it on yet and then I'll go uh, I'll go help see guns with power so that way we make sure we have power but I think mostly he's just waiting for rotors anyway um, so it's, you know I don't know if there's much I don't know if me going over to help is gonna accomplish much but I will uh, I will make the token effort and uh, yeah so I'll be back with uh, Hey JD, I'll be back with uh, a look at my uh, my modular frame factory here shortly. All right, so things are winding down for this evening, but we got all the tier three research done. We got basic steel production done. We got vehicles done, tractors, truck stations. We got coal power done. Obviously, we've been working on coal power for a while. Tier four, we have improved melee combat done, as you can see by JD with his basher in his hand there. We are working on advanced steel. All we need is. Uh, the uh, steel beams, no, steel, I forget what they're called. Steel pipes, pipes, looch, they're pipes. And then we will get hyper tubes and then logistics mark three. But we need steel set up for that. So that will be uh, pretty high in the list. Um, my modular frame factory is pretty much ready to go. It's half running right now. It's just we were a little tight on power, so I didn't turn the whole thing on. But, uh, I'm going to take a run up there and uh, give you a little tour. I'll be right back. All right, so the modular flame factory is its kind of going. It's not completely going yet because power is a little tight. So, But it's partially going, as you can see by the uh, raw iron coming in. So we got uh, four smelters, four smelters, four smelters, four smelters. There is eight in the row, but in each row, I'm only doing four of eight. Because until we get the higher belts, there's no point. So, the first row, first two rows are making uh, iron plates, as you can see. So, yeah, so this one's at 100% efficiency. Yeah, it's not quite running at 100% efficiency, and I'm not sure why. So, the next row is making screws with one, <laughs> one little constructor making plates. Because I need, so that's making... Um, this section is making 160 plates plus 20 is 180 plates because that's how many I need. So and this is making uh, 200 screws and then I got another 200 screws over here for 400 screws, which is I need 360. So that's a little more than I need. And then over here we have uh, eight constructors making iron rods. Uh, the rods are not being used yet. So let's go over and take a look here. What we got over here. So the uh, plates and screws are heading over here to be made into reinforced iron plates. Now this is where it's tricky. So I have two belts coming, right? One of them has uh, 80, and one of them has 100, right? Top one has 100. The problem is what we need, yeah, let me in. <laughs> I need 30 per minute, 60 per minute. So because 100 on one belt, 80 on the other belt. Neither of those are multiples of 30, right? So the belt's coming in. 
This is the 80 belt, so we're taking 30 off. We're taking 30 off. And then the rest of it, which would be 20, we're merging into the belt with 100. So now it's going to have 120 on it, which it does. You can see it's full. And then that's going into the other uh, four instructors. So it's exactly working out in theory. In theory. <laughs> the screws, we're doing something similar. Um, so like I said, there's 100 on each belt. We got four belts, but it needs, the machines need 60, not 50, right? So first one comes in, 60 comes off. The other 40 goes in, merges with this, but so that's 140, but the belt can only hold 120. So it's not being fully efficient, but so we've got 120 on this belt. And because it's, we need 60, that's, what, that's all we need, right? And then, so those first two belts cover these three machines. Top two belts cover the last three machines, right? So we got six machines total. So we're making 30 reinforced iron plates a minute. Uh, so these, so this is all running right now, but this, we got 10 uh, assemblers set to make modular frames because we got 30 of these per minute and we got 120 of these per minute coming in. So this should be good. We'll have 20 modular frames per minute going out. Uh, but we don't have the power for this right now because there's 10 of these and they're 15 power each. That's 150 power. That would tax our current system. So it's not fully set up yet. But once it is, um, yeah, we'll have 20 modular frames per minute. I will have to uh, build a belt to send them back over to the base or more specifically our central storage area once we get it built. That's going to be one of our priorities tomorrow in the next episode. We're going to get steel production on the go and then we're going to... Uh, Try to find a place for a, a central storage permanent base type spot. Something we can all agree on, which I'm sure probably, you know, we won't be able to find something we can all agree on. We'll just have to find the thing we all hate the least, right? That's the thing. It's hard to find something that everybody agrees on. That's fine. Anyway, that's going to be all for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more Satisfactory. And, uh, you know, throw a like on it. Hit that subscribe button. Helps me out. I'm a small YouTuber. It all helps. And uh, most importantly, though, have a great day. Be good to each other. And I'll see you in the next one.